The Lambert family near Angerston has a green dream and they're going big with solar to achieve it. We built this brand new facility um, back in 2015. Everything we did from the construction, from building it into the ground to using 100% rainwater was meant to be entirely sustainable and renewable um, and solar fit perfectly in with, with those objectives. And there's a massive hip pocket benefit too. The 100 kilowatt solar system cost $120,000 to build. It's made up of 360 250 watt uh, ET solar panels and it's powered by four Schneider CL inverters. But the reduction in bills has been significant. The Lambert's electricity bill dropping from around $10,000 a month to $3,000 and sometimes even lower. Luckily, wine industry kind of the peak periods really kind of perfectly match up with kind of the peak solar periods as well. So we built our, our water tanks on top of the hill for irrigation and during the day now, because of the solar power, we're able to pump up using solar energy um, to help irrigate. And then at nighttime, we're able to gravity feed back down the hill so we're not using any extra power. But the beautiful Barossa does offer some solar challenges, those big gum trees. They do shade the Lambert's panels late in the day. Miles Ratcliffe from Class A Energy Solutions says it was an issue everyone knew about at the time, but he says it hasn't had a significant impact with the system delivering excellent returns. So much so that the Lamberts plan to more than double their solar system as the winery itself expands. It'll be an additional 130 kilowatts of solar using the um, ever-trusted Trina 370 watt panels, along with the uh, Solar Edge um, optimized uh, inverter technology. So we'll couple that up with um, solar analytics. That expansion comes with a $210,000 price tag, minus the federal incentive for large scale generation certificates. As part of that next phase, some trees will be trimmed too. And with the new panels being coupled with solar edge optimizers and inverters, Miles expects Lamberts will get the maximum output from every panel. The solar electric expansion also extending to electric vehicles. Eight new Tomlinson lithium battery powered carts have been ordered from the US and will be charged using solar power. People can go out and experience the vineyard and, and be able to see you know, everything around it so they can kind of see that sustainability in practice. While Tesla chargers are already on site, batteries are now planned too. And also already on site is a brand new $45,000 electric pizza oven, the biggest in SA, brought in all the way from Italy. It's a beautiful piece of machinery, custom built, it's a beautiful copper dome. We only got it a couple weeks ago and so we're very much looking forward to uh, getting the first pizzas out of there. The beauty of the electric pizza oven is that it can be run all year round and isn't subject to fire restrictions. And in time, the plan is for it to be entirely run on solar energy. Businesses are really looking at, at the environmental side of things now than they have perhaps in the past. And carbon neutrality and um, carbon offsets is a big thing. I'd be very happy when we can get to the point where we can say that, look, 100% of our power is 100% of the time being generated on site and completely self-reliant. Thank you. Cheers.